Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today tracking down all the paintings you can find while on the mission, the Clockwork Mansion. Now when you get to the completion screen, it's going to show you that there are in fact six paintings to be found during this mission. The first of which is going to be found in the lower Aventa district where you start the mission. Just outside the carriage house and this guard post. So. I'm going to show you the way to get to this without needing to use any powers, just in case you're doing a no power playthrough. However, if you just want to blink and far reach your way to where you need to go, all you're trying to do is to get up onto this balcony. But if you want to jump up there without using any powers, if you come over here and get on top of this light, and then get on top of this guard shack, and then do a running jump over to this other side, right? Jump over here. And then you want to climb up this green pipe. Get up on top of here. And then up on this railing. Once you get up here, open this door. And inside, over here on the wall, you're going to find painting number one. So that's it for this one. We're on to the next one in just a moment. All right, painting number two. We're still in the lower Aventa district. We're out in front of the carriage station and this guard house. We were just up here at this balcony getting painting number one. Come back down to street level, spin around to the left, and you're going to go down this alleyway just between the station and this apartment building. Once you get down here, if you have far reach or blink and want to use it, what you're trying to do is to get up here into this balcony. Do that if you wish. I am going to show you the no power approach just in case that's the playthrough you're doing. If you're doing that type of playthrough, head up this apartment building and go all the way up to the third floor and make sure you have a grenade with you. All right, so we're on the second floor. We're going to make our way up to the third floor. Now that we're on the third floor, I want you to take your grenade and chuck it at this door. Throw it at the door, take cover, boom, grenade blows up, and the door is in pieces. Head inside, go all the way to the back, and over here on the right, you're going to find painting number two. This is that balcony I was telling you about that you can get up on from a little climbing up on these pipes here and then far reaching up here and then over to the balcony. So uh, nothing too complicated with far reach or blink, but uh, if you're trying to do a no power playthrough, it gets a little more complicated. So that's it for painting number two. We're on to number three in just a moment. All right, painting number three is going to be found in the upper Adventa district. We just took the carriage up here. We're out in front of this guardhouse. What you need to do is, uh, well, frankly, just go in the guardhouse and disable the wall of light here. Or if there is another way, which there is a door here. I'm just saying, I don't want to give any spoilers away. Uh, you can do whatever you need to do to get to this next section. And once you do get in here, what you're trying to do is get into this Bloodfly building. Now, there's two places to go to get in. One over here on the left. You can get up on top of this awning and climb in through that window. You can also come over here on the right, i.e. if you're not using any powers, you can also easily jump up into this window. Now, keep in mind, there are at least two Bloodfly nests in here you're going to have to deal with. But once you've dealt with them over here on the wall, you will find your next painting. So go ahead and grab that. That is painting number three. We're on to number four in just a moment. All right, painting number four is going to be found inside the Clockwork Mansion itself. Once you speak with Jindosh and have the little cutscene with the folding stairway, you need to head back down to this main lobby area and then through these two double doors. You're going to take a left here and go down this hallway towards the waiting room. Make your way down here when this hallway terminates, hang a right, head through here, and then head into this room. You have a couple options here. Um, you can go back to the elevator there and get in through the elevator. You can also skip the elevator and hang a right through here into the waiting room and then head into this room that looks like a got a grandfather clock in it. If it has an office in it, just throw this switch and it'll turn it back to having the grandfather clock in it. But you can step in here, throw this switch, and it'll take you down to the assessment chamber. Once you get down to the assessment chamber, what you're going to want to do is hang a left and break through this folding screen that's right here. You can just whack it with your sword and that'll take care of it. But then head all the way down these stairs and you'll be in front of the assessment chamber. I want you to grab the configuration level and pull it once or lever, sorry, level, lever, whatever, pendulum, fulcrum. 
All right, you're going to step on this platform, and it's going to switch things around, and you're also going to notice that there's a clockwork soldier now wandering around in here. You're going to have to deal with that thing, but once you do, make your way over to this platform right here and stand on it. That's going to switch things around one more time. Wait till things have finished switching around, and then come around this corner. Use your sword on these boards, smash them, and then stand on this one. This is going to switch things around so that you can get into Anton's chambers. Once you do, you're going to find your painting number four right here. Go ahead and grab this, and we will be on to number five in just a moment. All right, painting number five is going to be found inside the clockwork mansion itself. From the main lobby, between these two staircases, you're going to find a set of double doors. Head through them towards this map. Once you get here, hang a left. You're going to walk all the way to the end of this hallway. Hang a right, and then hang a left, and you're going to be in this big atrium. From here, I want you to head all the way back to this elevator, and then go up to the second floor. No, this is not the only way to get up here. However, it's the quickest. That's why we're using it. Once you do get up here, I want you to step out of the elevator, hang a left, and you're going to find two guards out here you're going to need to deal with. Deal with them in whatever way you see fit, and then step into Anton's bedroom. From here, I want you to throw this switch. It's going to switch around to this room like here. Once that happens, hit the switch again. You can see there goes your painting up into the wall. And then hit the switch one more time. And it's going to bring down the painting. Now, if you really wanted to, you probably could have squeezed through the uh, little opening there while things were changing and grabbed the painting. But just to make it simple, we didn't do that. But here is going to be painting number five. We're on to the sixth and final painting in just a moment. All right, our sixth and final painting is going to be found inside Sokolov's lab. If you uh, turn around from where we just were picking up that fifth painting, there should be double doors behind you, and you should just be able to walk right into his lab. No big deal. Once you do get in here, however, you are going to need to get up to the second level of this lab room. Now, if you are doing a no powers playthrough, what you need to do is come down here and make some adjustments to these floor tiles using these two panels and then drop down underneath the floor. There is a subsection down there with a bunch of weapons. There's a key down there that will unlock an elevator that will allow you to come up here. However, if you don't care about whether you use powers or not, just blink or far reach to get yourself up here. But once you do, behind Anton's, or behind Jindosh's desk, that is, you're going to find your final painting. So go ahead and grab that, and you have all of the paintings during the mission, The Clockwork Mansion. If you got any questions, place them in the comments section below. But if you got anything out of the video, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.